Zoe, you're awake. What? Wonkers, get off me! Oh, what time is it? Wait, where... where am I? You're in the hospital, Zoe. In Casablanca. Don't you remember? I... no. You got really sick, and they brought you here to make you better. I've been watching over you. You've been in a coma for a long, long time. I'm... I'm not sure. I'm confused. You just woke up, Zoe. It must be strange to be awake again. Don't worry. It'll pass. You just need to rest. Go back to sleep now. I'll watch over you. Wonkers, you don't sound like yourself. You've been very sick, Zoe. You can't trust yourself right now. Just close your eyes and go back to sleep. You'll feel much better afterwards. No, I... I can't sleep anymore. I wouldn't recommend that, Zoe. You're not well. You need to go back to sleep. I need to get up. I wouldn't recommend that, Zoe. You're not well. You need to go back Stop to sleep. Stop it, Wonkers! Why don't you go back to sleep, Zoe? You'll feel much better if you do. Maybe Wonkus is right. Maybe I'll feel there's something very wrong about this, and if I go to sleep again... Maybe Wonkus is right. Okay. Wake up, Zoe. You must wake up. Come on, Zoe, get up. This place isn't real. You need to get out. Was that... April? Good old Wonkers. For as long as I can remember, he's been there for me. Like a surrogate sibling and guardian. Best gift ever. But there's something not quite right about him. I can't put my finger on it, but he's not... not really Wonkers. Are you tired, Zoe? You must be tired. Let's go back to sleep. I'll stay right here. I promise I won't ever leave you. No, I don't want to sleep anymore. You're not feeling well. I can tell. You're exhausted. And you're seeing things that aren't real. I... I don't know what's wrong, but it's not me. It's this place. It's you, Wonkers. You're all wrong. That hurts my feelings, Zoe. You don't sound right. You're imagining things, Zoe. You're very, very tired. Sleeping will help you feel better. You should go back to sleep. Just for a little while. No. You don't sound right. You're imagining sleeping. No. Flowers from Liv. Hola, sweetie. I hope these flowers will brighten your day. Love, Liv. That's cute. Liv's cute. I'm so happy to have Olivia Del Marco in my life. And Alien the Cat is hands down the best electronic shop in Casablanca. I can't wait to go back. When was the last time I visited her shop? That was ages ago. Did it close down? I. I remember something about... Uh, what just happened? Something happened to her. To live. Something terrible. Okay, that was not just in my head. Something's definitely going on. Olivia. 
She's dead. I know it. I feel it. Shit. Am I losing my mind, or is reality glitching? I'd almost forgotten this. I won a competition. Second place, I think. Jama was so proud. Prouder than my dad, perhaps. Definitely prouder than me. Graduation day, in front of Jami Hall. Cape Town University has the most beautiful views. I spent so many lazy afternoons with friends, sitting on Jami steps and looking out over the city. Jardin de Roses, home sweet home for most of my tumultuous teenage years. Casablanca is a great place to grow up. Such an interesting mix of cultures and very safe and clean. But I'll have to move at some point if I want a career in Bayern. I remember feeling like the end of my bioengineering degree was impossibly far away. I can't believe I actually made it to graduation. It's almost... Almost like a dream. Come to think of it, I don't remember much from that day. I was there, I was wearing a gown, but who else was there? Dad? Reza? And what was the ceremony like? I just can't remember. Weird. Now I'm officially freaked out. Something's wrong. The whole graduation thing Something's definitely wrong here. I'd almost forgotten this. I won a competition. Second place, I think. Jama was so proud. Prouder than my dad, perhaps. Definitely prouder than me. I'd almost forgotten this. I won a competition. Second place, I think. Jama was so proud. Prouder than my dad, perhaps. Definitely prouder than me. Mum, Dad and me. Mum and Dad were always moving when I was growing up, because of their jobs. This must have been the fifth or sixth home. We I remember falling in love with the place as soon as we got there. It had all these nooks and crannies, a balcony and my own room with an awesome view. There were so many hiding places. Me and... and Mum. We played hide and seek all the time. When she came after me, she would stomp her feet and shout, what was it she'd say again? I... I don't actually remember her voice that well. Or her face. Or that she was there with Dad and me. Mum was... She wasn't... Where was she? Dad and me in Casablanca. Our fifth anniversary. Reza and I took the backtracks to Norway and a hydrofoil to Svalbard. We spent a long weekend traveling around the island. We always talked about going to Svalbard. It's such an incredible place. So majestic and so alien. And I was totally geeking out about going inside the Doomsday Vault. Five years together. Almost hard to believe. Things have been rocky between us from time to time. It's amazing that we... that we lasted. 
this. I remember we stayed at the... Uh... What was the name of that place again? And where was it? I don't... I don't remember... Any of it. It's weird, but I remember nothing from the trip. Aside from talking to Reza about it, and this photo. We were there, and... We've been together for five years. Have, haven't we? No. No, this is wrong. This feels all wrong. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. Those vitals aren't too bad. Someone will be with you shortly. The call button should really be next to the bed. Although, I guess they weren't expecting me to wake up from my coma anytime soon. The Atlantic Ocean looks perfectly serene from here. When the megastorms aren't raging, of course. It's a card from Karen. Karen's nice. She's been a good friend, and she makes great coffee. It's a card from Karen. Karen's nice. She's been a good friend, and she makes great coffee. I didn't graduate. I dropped out. I mean, sometimes I wish I hadn't. But this is a false memory. What are you doing, Zoe? You shouldn't be on your feet. Come on. I'll tuck you in and read you a little story. Just like in the old days. Helena was never part of our lives. It was just me and Dad. She abandoned us when I was an infant. You don't look well, Zoe. You're probably seeing things. Please lie down, just for a minute. I'll watch over you. I'll sing for you. We talked about going to Svalbard, but we never did. We broke up, and that trip, it never happened. This isn't helping anyone, Zoe. You're just going to ruin everything. Please stop. Please go back to bed. Liv had an accident. Go back to sleep, She's Zoe. She's dead. She never sent me a get well card. Oh 
Oh my god. This isn't real. This place is a... a hallucination. Or a projection. I need to get out of here. Look what you've done. Why couldn't you just leave things be? We could be happy here together. The both of us. Forever. I need you to go back to sleep, Zoe. Now. Before it's too... Something's wrong. This place and you. You're all wrong. You're not you. That doesn't make any sense, Zoe. Of course I'm me. I've always been me. Wonkers, your old friend. Your best friend in the whole world. You look the same, but you don't act the same, and you don't sound the same. It's like... like someone put you together from memory, but they didn't get the details right. They didn't know you like I know you, and they probably figured it wouldn't matter. That's what's wrong with this whole place. It's made of memories, and some of them are not right. Europolis, Arcadia, I wasn't dreaming. They were real. This is the dream, or a dream made physical by me. I made this, and I can see through it. But I'm real, Zoe, aren't I? Of course you are, Wonkers. Of course you're real. Are you sure you don't want to play a game? We haven't played a game in so long. I'm sorry, Wonkers. Okay, then. Promise to wake me up later? I promise. Nighty-night. I'll miss you too, buddy. What's this? Is this a one-way window? Have they been observing me? Fuck! Vid, stop that. It's not a toy. You could kill someone. Someone you don't want to kill. Send for a healer, you cretins! My legs are broken! What do we do with her? I haven't decided yet. We have enough on Sister Alessandra to hold a summary court-martial and execute her. Or we send her to Sadia to stand trial. She'll face death. Or worse. A solitary life sentence in the black hole. To be honest, I think that decision should be yours. She's murdered thousands. 
and she believes she's righteous. Nothing will be gained from sparing her life. Our people must know the truth. Alessandra needs to stand trial for what she's done in Sadia. She, she must stand trial, but we don't know what's happening in Sadia. Someone may want to protect her, and we can't bring her with us to Mercuria. Our people must know the truth. Alessandra needs to stand trial for what she... Let's send her home. Good. We'll send a ship back to Azadir as soon as possible. Lock her up and keep her safe. She'll be going home to Sadir. Let me go, you fools. You're doing the Shadow's work. Uh, uh, goddess, uh, help me. Oh, it hurts. What now, Kian? We go back, and we end this. Can I count on your help? You can. Now, when I followed you here, I had no idea. I had my suspicions. Sire, they've been lying to us, and they're planning something. But I was blinded by faith and my trust in the Council. I followed you so that I could arrest you, kill you if necessary, to have my eyes open this way. A veil's been lifted, all thanks to you. I failed you. I failed our nation. And I'm sorry for that, Kian, for distrusting you. I should have known better. He should have known better than to brand me a traitor. But I understand why he made that mistake. Our friendship may never be the same, but we need to put this behind us and move on. I'm disappointed in him. He should know me better than to think I would knowingly betray my people. But I won't confront him about it until I... He should have known better than to brand me a traitor. I gave you reason to doubt me. I'm not so sure about that, Kian. I acted rashly and... General. Harmy. I forgive you. Huh. There's one thing I must know. Who told you I'd gone to Gien? Mother Utana. Don't ask me how she knew. Well, she has her sources. She urged me to follow you. She wanted you to see this with your own eyes. Perhaps so, but how would she know what I'd find here? She trusted me. Yes, although... If she already knew the truth, why did she say nothing? It wouldn't have been better to keep me in Mercurio and arrest Vamon and Sion. I'm sure she had her reasons, Harmy. Is your cloud ship ready to bring us back? The fastest ship in the fleet. We'll be there in less than three days. Enough time to lay plans along the way. I need your most trusted men to fight alongside the rebels against Vamon's troops. They will. There are fewer of us than there are of them, but we have the light on our side. We'll follow your command, Kian. To the first mountain, if it be so. What will happen to the prisoners? They'll be freed, fed, cared for. They'll need to stay here until the situation in Mercuria has been resolved. After that, we can provide them with passage to wherever they want to go. We owe them that, and much more. We'll have to leave young Bip with his parents, or I'm sure he'll try to sneak on board our ship. Bip, time to go. Everything's ready for the ceremony, Your Excellency. The engineers have informed me that the engine is ready. Whenever you wish to begin. My men have been posted around the city, ready to handle any unrest. Though I don't expect any. This being Reap Moon's Eve, most of the peasants will be too drunk to pay attention. Is there anything else you need, Prophet? You've done all I've asked. With the general away, there will be fewer distractions to worry about. The Office of Scientific Progress has proven itself a loyal servant to the Goddess. The support in Sadir has been unwavering. I am pleased with your work. Thank you, Prophet. We live to serve the Goddess. Where is the first? In her room, praying for the success of our mission. She did not want to overshadow this ceremony with her presence. 
Her humility makes her a worthy one of the six. You deserve all the glory tonight, sister. You, and the commander, of course. When I activate the engine, a new era will begin. We will shape this world according to the wishes of the goddess. Magic will finally be eradicated. The transition may cause fear and unrest for a time, but I trust you to handle this with authority and efficiency. Of course. I must prepare. When I am ready, I'll send word to you. You will have the privilege of telling the people of this city they're witnessing the birth of a new era. Hami has returned. With Kian. He's joined the Resistance. What? Who told you this? They've been trying to recruit my men. Some have turned, or most have not. Why didn't you inform the Prophet? And have him cast us from the top of the tower. We'll handle this. The Prophet will never know. Mother Utana and the First, they can't know either. They might interfere. You take care of them. I will take care of the Resistance and Harmy. Once and for all. Soon it won't even matter. Tonight, once the engine is active... We take control, yes, I know. I, I just... We didn't need this. Not when we're so close. After all that we... Don't worry yourself, sire. Proceed as planned. Yes. Yes. Long ago, when I was a boy, exploring the mountains close to my village, I met an old Dolmari man, herding his stone goats. Our two people were officially at war, but there were still Dolmari tribes near our village and some trade between humans and magicals. The old man spoke with kindness, fed me dried fruits and goat's milk, and told me I had magic in me, just like his grandchildren. When I returned home and told my mother, she commanded me to never speak a word of this to my father. And then she leaned in and whispered something in my ear I'll always remember. Magic, she said, is a part of everything. Magic is in the wind and rain. 
the stones and the ocean. It's in me, my mother said. And it's in you. Your heart, your mind, your blood. We've been at war with magic for most of my life. But I've never forgot my mother's whispered words. And I've always felt it in me. Felt that magic's a part of me. For decades, I've fought it, denied it, rejected it. Tonight, that fight ends and another begins. This is no longer a war between humans and magicals. This is a battle for the very soul of our world. If you will have me, if you accept us, we stand with you all. We fight at your side. Tonight, we put aside our differences, our history, our grievances, and we stand united as one. Humans and Magicals, Azadi and Northlanders, we are all Arcadians. Our eyes have been opened to the truth of what's being done to Magicals. The Prophet has deceived the Azadi people. The engine is a weapon aimed at us all. We don't yet know what this ceremony will bring, but if we don't act tonight, in the face of death, we shall live to regret it tomorrow. General Hami will lead sorties against Vamon's men, force their surrender, and push through to the commander and sister sire. Those who refuse to lay down their arms, we fight. As hard as it will be to strike at your own brothers, there's no other choice. Your goal is to apprehend Sire and Vamon, alive if possible, dead if necessary. You'll take your commands from the general. Any misgivings you may have must be put to rest now. I trust Hami with my life. And tonight, so shall you. The engine must be destroyed. We don't know what it's truly for or how it works, but the Prophet means to reshape the world using its powers. This isn't magic. It's something darker than sorcery. Something older and infinitely more dangerous. Let's stop it. Let's stop them all from destroying our world, from destroying magic. Let's do this in the memory of our absent comrades. Liko, Bob who can see, there's been enough death. Come back alive. You've received your assignments. Prepare to move out. And when this night is over, let's all return here to watch the sun rise on a new Mercuria. You know what to do, Kian? Ferdows will shut down the engine from the control room near the green. In order to do that, he needs me inside the tower. You'll go alone? I've been inside before. It will be easier on my own. Anna and Enu will escort Ferdows and keep him safe. I wish we could fight side by side tonight, but your task is more important. And more perilous. You'll have the resistance by your side. I couldn't ask for better company. My men won't flinch from their duty. When they learned what was being done to the non-humans, and what the camps were for. I wish there was time to spread the truth further. But instead, we're forced to fight our own. We can only hope that most choose to surrender, rather than remain loyal to Vamon. I'm sure they will, once they find themselves facing you. Civil war is a terrible thing, Hami. Most men shy from it. I don't envy you your task tonight. We do what we must. Goddess protect you, Kian. If all goes well, we'll talk again soon. We shall. I'm grateful to your goddess for bringing you back to me, Kian. Unharmed, in time to fight alongside your sisters and brothers. I'm sorry for defying you, Shepard. Sorry? 
Child, you did the right thing. I was blinded by fear. I just wish Liko had disobeyed me and gone with you to Guillen instead of... Oh. If he had, Shepard would be dead. If Liko had joined me on Guillen, he'd probably be alive. There's nothing I can say to ease her guilt. If Liko had joined me on Guillen, he'd probably... If he had, then you would not be standing here tonight. Perhaps, but he would be alive to fight tonight. What can I do? Look around. Humans and magicals coming together. This wouldn't have happened without you. Liko would have been proud to fight alongside you, Kian. And I am proud to call you my friend. You've come a long way from the broken man who arrived in the Enclave many months ago. You believed in me, Shepard. That's what saved me. I played only a small part. You began believing in yourself. That's what mattered the most. May your goddess continue to watch over you. We need all the help we can get from all the deities that watch over our mortal realms. Go now. Fight. Save us all from chaos. I stand with you, Kian. And I'm not the only one. Ulvik's put everything on the line for us. And he'll lose it all if we lose the fight. That was a really good speech. I'm sure someone's going to put that into play someday. You know, one of those stirring, heroic monologues before the final act, before everyone dies. I'm not saying everyone's going to die, I'm just saying, Liko, Liko would have approved. I hope so. Oh, I know so. He had so much respect for you, even though you boys, I'm not saying he liked you, but there was respect. He wasn't actually going to kill you, you know, after this. That was just Liko being Liko. Liko. I know. When this is over, we'll honor his memory. I think he'd care a lot more about us winning the war than receiving a nice eulogy. Tonight is for Liko, then. For Bob who can see. For all who were lost. And for those of us still alive. Let's not forget those of us still alive. For all of us. Yeah. I'm really scared. I mean, I wouldn't tell anyone else, but I really am. I do not want to die. I know I keep telling people I'm ready to die, but... I know. And I can't tell you that won't happen. Because it might. Great. Good to know. Very comforting. If I do die, then at least I died for something. Right? Something important? My life had meaning. That's something, right? Right. Well, good luck, Kian. What is it you people say? I hope your goddess smiles on you. And to be honest, on me as well. I mean, she's not my goddess, but I'd still appreciate a smile of just the tiniest smirk. Maybe a wink? Basically, any kind of acknowledgement will do. I want to be in good standing with all gods, goddesses, and non-gendered deities tonight. Oh. You should talk to Anna. She's itching to head out as soon as you give the word. I'll do my best to help her He's and her an do whatever they need to do. I owe him so much. I hope I can repair I'll join any team yeah. going into Cold Stone. Please be nice, If we can free the imprisoned Anna. rebels, we'll improve our chances. I know you two chances. have history and, and that it's complicated alive. and stuff, and, I well, want to bring her home. be nice. Be gentle. Anna. Uh, Elena, we haven't... Yeah, it's fine. I'm not... Talked, and... Sorry, what were you saying? Nothing. Uh, don't worry about it, Kian. Really. I'm glad you're back and in one piece. We have a job to do. We can talk after good yes after we really should anu and i will escort ferdels to the engine house in the green we'll watch over him while he does whatever it is that he needs to do kian are you sure we can trust him do we have a choice yes i, I believe we can okay he'll be ready when you found your way into the tower something harmi said Utana learned of my trip to Guillen from a trip. Did you tell Utana about Guillen? I... Uh, all right. Yes. Yes, I did. It was... I did it to help you. I trust the mother. I always have, ever since... Well, you know, you and her, you saved my life half a lifetime ago. I'm sorry for trying to help. If you hadn't told Utana, 
I'd be dead now. So, thank you. That's it. Thank you. We might never see each other again, and... I can't give her everything she's hoping for. But I can at least say something to make her feel better. Words. I can't give her what she desires most. But I can still. Hey, whoa, what? I'm just trying to... No, just... No, that's not... Sorry. Don't do that. I am sorry for... All right. Uh... Are we leaving soon? Because if we wait much longer, I'm afraid I'll just curl up into a ball and be of no use to anyone. The streets are crowded with revelers, and the Azadi are staying out their way. There's no better time. This whole reaping thing is giving them the willies. It's way too pagan for our pious occupiers. I'll find a way into the heart of the tower. And we'll stand by and wait for you to contact us. You still believe you can shut the engine down remotely for Daos? With your help? Unless they've disconnected the pipes. Yes, I believe so. I know they're still waiting on the final calculations to be sent to the tower, so if we hurry... Then let's not waste any more time. Just get inside the tower and find the engine and contact us via the speaking tube. I'll walk you through the steps needed for me to take control, and then I'll force the engine to crash. Crash? Crash? crash! Wait, what's happening now? Why are we all saying crash? Has there been an accident? If we feed it the wrong instructions, the engine will stop working. Like a, a, a cloud ship that, um, crashes into a mountainside. It's complicated, but really quite easy. We'll have to take your word for it. I've worked on the engine for years. I know how it operates. Are you guys ready? I am so ready. I mean, not really, because I have no idea what we're doing, but I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Not that I feel ready. I prefer fighting an enemy I can see, and I don't understand what this engine is, or how Ferdow's plans to stop it, or what it's doing, but... So how about it, guys? Let's go. Be safe, Keon. If you die, I'll be very cross with you. Gather round, friends, gather round. A most joyful Reap Moon's Eve to you all. Witness, a magical abomination has appeared among us on this holiest of holy nights. It's an affront to decency and humanity, a foul, feathered, chattering, foul. Okay, joke's on me. Open this cage right now. It speaks with the voice of the great necromancer. The voice of the what now? Hold your breath, feathered servant of the shadow. Keep your obscene beak shut. Can't argue with the obscene beak bit, but I'm not liking this whole bonfire thing you've got going on. I smell charred feathers. Soon the grand ceremony begins, and the great engine ushers in a new age of reason, logic, and humanity and an end to sorcery. We cannot let this foul heresy poison the night with its squawks and feathery filth. 
This false foul mocked me once before and caused a fellow follower, a fair friend of the cause, great physical pain and discomfort. The man may never be able to drink without dribbling again, all because of this... this freak of nature! I, Honor Hilaris, candidate and faithful servant of humanity, will personally light the bonfire to rid Mercuria of this final remnant of diseased magic, honouring our ancient human traditions, and... You gibbering coward. When are you going to shut up and just go away? People are sick and tired of your racist tirades. If anyone here should be burned on that bonfire, it's you. Killing that poor bird is the complete opposite of what the reaping's all about. How dare you claim to represent humanity when there's nothing human about you at all? Hear, hear! And you! You're supposed to be keeping the peace, aren't you? When were you planning to put a stop to this? Are you just going to let that madman burn birds and incite violence in the city you've sworn to protect? We do not intervene in local tradition, madam. Oh, do intervene. No one here would mind it one bit, I'm sure. Local tradition? Local tradition? This farce has absolutely nothing to do with local tradition. We don't burn poor defenseless animals in bonfires on Reap Moon's Eve. Well, it's not an animal, is it? What? I mean, it's magical. It's... It's a talking bird, not an animal, per se. Technically, the man is not wrong. I'll give him that. Of course, it's an animal. Magical or not, it's a living creature, and you should put a stop to this right now. Uh, yeah, what she said. Sorry, madam, but unless an actual human is being harmed, we cannot intervene. Ruddy coward. That goes for the lot of you, especially that pig. Cowards. Hello? Certain poor, Help me. misguided individuals seem to be the over bird here. Bird in cage. Protecting magical cage bird. Protecting humanity what do you want, bird? I, I don't have time for. I know you. I've seen engravings. You're Keon. Keep your voice down. Where did you see those engravings? I spent some time in Sadir. I'm Crow, friend of April Ryan and Zoe Castillo. You were a friend of April. Friend? Partner, sidekick. I came back to Marcuria to find you, believe it or not. And since you're the reason I'm in this predicament, you have to help me. And quickly, because soon, if things go the way they appear to be going, I'll be very, very hot. I'm sorry, Bird, but I need to find a way into the tower. And time is the running... The tower? The Azadi Tower? Big, white, cloud-piercing edifice? I know a way into the tower. A secret way. Get me out of this death trap, and I'll get you inside the tower, I swear on my hatchling nest. If you're lying, I'll snap your scrawny neck. Cross my beak and hope to die, which is a distinct possibility. Quickly now, that madman won't orate forever. But they are carriers oh, of foul again. fevers. When will they and ever shut up? come to witness the burning of the necromancer's minion, have you? There's always room for one more witness. Filthiest sin, all of them. Which one's least filthy? No, nope. they're all filthy. I feel unclean. In this city, they have bathtubs for birds. The Northlanders are an odd folk. No cobblestone unturned, no Bird. cellar door unlocked, Bart. no privy unexplored God. to find the last remnants of magic in our fair city. Uh, oh, oh. As we all that know, was like I'm running for drinking the shadows, sulfurous piss. Supervise ah, the I'm reasonably certain and magic that had bird shit in it. Elected, I just drank bird shit. This was not a well-considered action by any measure of things. <laughs> It's oh. Reap Moon Steve, oh. sir, Why and do I you do this to myself? <laughs> appear to be uninebriated. For shame. Public intoxication is practically mandatory this evening. 
You're in luck, sir. Most stalls have shut down for the evening, but we're open and will remain open until the very last bottle has been sold. Which, from my experience, won't be too long now. The discriminating Northlander knows we're a notch above the rest. No Southlands imports here, sir. These bottles are tapped in the Northlands with wine from the tart purple grape of... I'm sure your wine is more than adequate, Merchant. Oh. oh. Very well. What can I get you tonight, most sober of sirs? Perhaps you want to sample a bottle before you buy? I'll need... I'm not some barbarian choosing wines merely by colour. I'll need more than a thimbleful. A bottle will serve me better. I'm not some bub... A small sample before I make my decision. Which wine, sir? Excellent choice, sir. This one is both tart and celebratory. A melancholy Just mix pour of the wine, wine, please. Very well. There you go, sir. Give that a smell, a swell, and a sip. He expects the cup to be empty. Besides, no honorable man returns a full cup to his host. Donkey's urine. That's what this is. Ass piss. And it kicks like a mule. Hello again. Changed your mind, sir? Do you perhaps want... I'll need... I'm not... A small sum. Which wine? Interesting. You want to sample the Dragon's Fire, our most potent wine, capable of reducing seasoned warriors to tears and bashful maidens to... I want to taste it now. As you please, sir. There you go, sir. Give that a smell, a swell. Shadow! Burns like fire! Ah. Tonight we fight like dragons. even put a little fireball on the bottle. I'm not sure if that's an invitation or a warning. Can't stay up. I'm not some barbarian. I'll need more than a thimbleful. A bottle will serve me better. I'm buying. Which way? Oh, that... What's the price? You don't want some proper background? How? One hundred and twenty-five. What? Well, it's between... That choice or... What can I get you tonight? I'm not... A small... Which one? Interesting. I want to taste it. As you please. A one... Four... Five... Eight... Nine... Ten... Odd. I don't remember the tasting cup being quite so expansive. I will leave no 
cobblestone unturned, no cellar door unlocked, no privy unexplored to find the last remnants of magic. This must be the kindling they used to start the pyre. City. This seems like an obvious target for sabotage. As we all know, I'm running for office in the city watch, where I can personally like supervise the hunt for non-humans and magic in Mercuria. And watch. When I'm elected, there shall be nightly bur- But enough talk! This bewingy demon, this symbol of sorcery, this affront to humanity, must burn! Uh, mm, must he? Uh, must is a very strong word. I'm not sure it's a word I'd use to... Uh... Burn, you transmogrified necromancer! Burn! Oh boy, here we go. God save me! God save me! You lot, break it up. Nothing to see here. Shut We need to get him to a healer. Now! God has protected us. He'll be lucky to survive the night. Right, party's over. Go on, all of you. Go home. Be with your families. Good job. And now, get me off this blazing bonfire! Talk about cutting things close. I smell of singed plumage and smoke. So, were you lying to me about that secret entrance to the tower? No, I would never. Uh, well, I totally would. That would be just like me, lying to save my tail feathers. But I was actually telling the truth. I do know a way into the tower. From below. Now, not making much of an impression on you. Okay, then. Follow me, big guy, and I'll lead you through the darkness into the light. The light, in this case, being the tower. More specifically, that weird pillar of dreamy light rising into the center of the tower with all the rotating metal bits? You mean, the engine? Is that what they call it? The weird thing with the gears and the levers and the metal what's-its? Then yes, the engine. What, you don't want to go there? Lead the way, bird. And fast. Crow. And I'm useful again. Imbeciles, amateurs. Don't they know who they're dealing with? Don't they know who I... Finally! What took you so long? I've been in here for days! You fool. How did you manage to get yourself locked up? Some people don't appreciate art. Come. You need to prepare the engine for the ritual. Uh, yes, Master. About bloody time.